Hey, this is Joey with Helping Others. Welcome to my YouTube channel or Facebook. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about what's behind me, my setup. So I am a computer geek. I'm a cyclist. I'm an academic. I'm a you know father. I do a lot of different things. But uh, ever since I was a kid, technology has been part of my life. I was very fortunate to be introduced to it when I was like three years old. And so some kind of setup has always been around me. I grew up with computers and computing. In high school, I learned how to build computers. I learned how to video edit. Um, and it was because of my brother. It wasn't because I was some genius. I actually like uh, wasn't a genius at all. And my brother who had gotten into MIT and ended up getting his electrical engineering degree from uh, UT Austin, would kind of just, you know, we were two years apart and he would just let me watch and I would figure it all out and learned all about it. And by the time I was in graduate school, I was, you know, like four servers and computers and I was doing this crazy program. I did my master's on personal uh, uh, multimedia, uh, uh, personal multimedia, what were they called? Personal multimedia production systems, there we go. And um, the idea was, you know, what if we really kind of take Donna Haraway's idea, who's this like feminist theorist, cyber theorist, uh, this idea of the cyborg and, um, and the literal idea of a cyborg and, you know, think about the extensions of our body, whether it's our glasses, our clothes, our shoes that facilitate uh, our movement and our reality and kind of think about that digitally. And so, you know, my, my spaces that I would create to work in, which this is, you know, this is my current space, is a reflection of not just stuff, but of how I interact and create um, with my digital life and, uh, and my physical life as well. And so um, we're here in my uh, apartment where my family and I live. It's uh, pretty small. As you can see, we have our living room. I chiseled out this uh, creative space in the corner. And uh, you'll see our kitchen table is uh, relatively small. We actually uh, will double those up if we have guests. But for the most part, we live this really kind of self-contained life. And um, for whatever reason, my wife and I have always loved that. We've always lived in small spaces. We lived in a house once. We loved it, but we just haven't done it again. And... Um, yeah, so I started changing kind of creatively uh, around 2006, 2007 when I switched over from PC to Apple when they went with their Intel uh, machines. And, uh, and my computer usage kind of changed more from being into computers to using them to create media. And then I, you know, when I got my PhD and started teaching video production, audio production, web, social media, new media, those kinds of courses, I quickly went from building computers and being into tech to really kind of using my, 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 uh, uh, computer systems as appendages for creativity. And so, uh, let me go over a little bit about, you know, some of these appendages that I use. So, um, and things that come out of it, like this is my, uh, Dios de los Muertos Altar that I created uh, this past November, October, November for uh, Dios de los Muertos. And, you know, I printed out these materials with this printer right here, which to me, the printer is just one of the coolest things. It's one of the, the least expensive ways to get into physicality from digital, going from digital to physicality and really having like this, this ability to touch and create. And you'll see I have a little four by six paper here. I have cardstock. I keep uh, my cardstock over here. I have a little whiteboard, you know, just got all kinds of, of stuff here. And then I have a document feeder. I've got a flatbed scanner and I love using flatbed scanners. One of the things I think about uh, is kind of this idea of Xeroxing culture and how people used to Xerox and make collages that way and newsletters that way. And I think about kind of, you know, what that's like to do it with printers today and, and scanners today. 
Um, and it's something I'm still very interested in like messing with and playing with. Um, so yeah, so that's my printer. You'll see I have a little um, uh, Nighthawk Netgear uh, modem. I have cable, uh, cable modem, I have gigabit here. It runs to a little wireless router back there. And uh, and then I have a little thing of alcohol and a, and a napkin there. That's because um, when I'm cleaning electronics or working on things, I tend to kind of want it right then and there. I don't wanna to have to go find it, I live in a small place, so I have it right there. The other thing you'll notice up here is this bright looking light and it's a shop light. I got it for 20 bucks at Sam's back in the day. And uh, it works really well. You'll notice I have this uh, cart here. This is kind of like a culinary cart that I transformed into a computer cart. It has casters and uh, it hosts stuff. You'll notice that I'm very cluttered and it's something I've always tried to get away from but always end up at. You can ask anybody that's ever worked with me. Um, I have neatness, but I also have clutter. So I've got some tools, I've got soldering iron, I've got reinforced tape for when I have to ship heavy things. Excuse me, when I have to ship heavy things and uh, paints and battery chargers and you know little switches for lights. Like I have a little switch on that shop light and you just plug it in and you can switch it. I have uh, a little light here that I use just to kind of for some up lighting. And, uh, and then I have magnets that I use for just all kinds of stuff, putting little pins up, holding my scissors. I have uh, tape measures that hold my headphones. I'm a big grotto or Grado fan. And so I have a bunch of Grado headphones that I use with my podcasting and editing and things like that. I have little blue um, dots that I use for when I'm putting things up on the wall. And uh, then I have a UPS down here, which is an uninterrupted power supply. It means it has a battery. So if the power goes out, the computers will keep running till I can turn them off. A bunch of hard drives. I have a Mac mini that they're hooked up to that just runs as a little server. I have a little bunch of power uh, strips here with plugs. I have a little box that I'm not gonna talk about, but has something really cool in it. And, uh, and then we come up here and this is my main area. This is where I work. This is, I mean, I spend some time here. And um, the first thing I'm gonna show you is not where I spend most of my time looking, but actually where I spend most of my time sitting. I've had this chair for going on around 18 years. It is a Herman Miller Aeron chair. It's an actual Aeron chair. It's a very expensive chair. Uh, at least to me, it was probably, I think around $750. And um, I thought I was crazy when I got it, but I somehow talked my sister into helping me buy it when I was in grad school. And I've had it since, and it's amazing. It's one of these chairs that um, I actually, if you put your hand back here, you can feel some dots. And this is an extra large chair. They're very hard to come by. Um, and, uh, I just, you never sit the same way in it. And so you're always changing your body, doesn't get fatigued as much. A lot of times I'm like, I'm gonna go lay down and then I go sit in this chair and I start doing stuff. Cause it's like, it's just comfortable. But yeah, so my main computer I have now is an Apple uh, MacBook Pro M1 Pro. And so this is the latest uh, MacBook. Um, I hadn't gotten a new computer since that Mac mini down there, which was in 2012. It's a 32 gig, um, one terabyte, 13 inch. And um, it has, uh, I think 14 cores and 10 neuro cores or whatever they're called. Um, and it's been a pretty good transition. I am really happy I can use my 10 year old Apple Cine displays with it. And um, I use a USB three to USB two adapter. This thing's called an audio interface right here. So it just connects up through USB. And uh, it's Mark of the Unicorn Motu M2. This is where I plug in my microphones, plug in my headphones. I have a bunch of headphone uh, outputs here on this little headphone extender. And um, when I'm doing podcasts, uh, I can have multiple people hooked up. And we can have headphones and our mics here. 
all plugged in. I have some external speakers that I use for editing. They're really, really great. I can't recommend them enough. They're these JBL dual concentric monitors. They fit pretty well on the desk. They're kind of big, but they're big in a good way in that they sound really good and full. I have a 4K uh, Logitech Brio webcam. And uh, then I just have like little nuanced things like some game controllers hiding back there. Some Legos I need to pick up and set back up. Like Batman needs, to, he, he needs to stand up. You know, there's a little panda back there that fell down. Like, um, you'll notice that, like I said, I'm cluttered. I, it's, it's never gonna be perfect. It just isn't, I've come to that, <laughs> to that conclusion. So I'll always have some little adapter, some little arcade card hanging around, some little transformer gun that my son left up here. These are my headphones that I use all the time for writing. I have little uh, stickers on them. I'm almost like a little production crew because I've got to keep track of mine between myself and my wife's sets. And uh, and then over here, you'll notice uh, I have my trainer, which this is a Wahoo Kicker R. And um, what it does is it allows me to take the back wheel of this off and connect my specialized diverge bike up to it and ride thousands of miles a year on it and um, i have a laptop over here that i um i'll open up and run this pro uh, program called zwift and it's a virtual world for cycling log in there and that's why i do my rides um, you can get an elevation device that like raises and lowers the front but I don't have that. Uh, you can also buy like a smart fan, but I just use this Vornado fan down here. It works really well. And um, then uh, my wife has one as well. We'll see, I have a Hi-Fi over here. Those of y'all that know I own a Hi-Fi store. I, it's just a kaluge of stuff from the shop that we've either taken in or um, I've just had before the shop that I'm using um, because my, you know, I have a huge hi-fi at the shop. It's amazing. It's, you should come here. It, it's, I haven't had anybody here and be like, eh, everybody that's heard has been like, wow, that's amazing. This one here is great. It's fun to listen to. It's in an apartment. It's not, you know, they're not $13,000 pair of speakers like I have at the shop, but there's some really great sounding fun speakers. And, um, other than that, you know, this space, uh, is highly functional for me when I'm creating and working. I can get a lot done. I, uh, I do a lot of YouTube channel work. I do a lot of Instagram, a lot of Google Doc work. And so having the dual monitors make a, makes a big difference. I have my little coffee, coffee center over here, which is really nice. And uh, I use this uh, Tavo's uh, coffee that they get from Guatemala from their family. It's been really, really nice having like some locally sourced uh, coffee that I get like, I just go downstairs and I go to the next place over and I buy some from them. So, um, so yeah, so wh why am I sharing this? Why am I telling you all this? Because um, one, I'm very extroverted, but two, I like to show process. I like to document process. I like to show people what I'm up to and what I'm doing because a lot of times people kind of just make it seem like things just happen. And, uh, and for me, I don't know. I just, I find stuff like this interesting. I'll watch it on the internet. And, um, you know, we live a pretty simple life. We live in this apartment, drive to San Antonio every weekend, run the shop, come back, my wife's a teacher. I, you know, I'm a college professor. I'm teaching popular culture, music, records, radio, and popular radio, records, and popular music. And then I'm teaching a social media class this semester. And so, you know, this stuff uh, literally radiates back and forth from work to play, uh, to health, to all kinds of stuff. And and so, for me, it's a reflexivity as like a geek a nerd to kind of show this and and let people kind of in a little bit on my current process and what I do. And then to also ask questions like, well, what do you do? Like, how do you interact with it as a theoretician of new media and, and someone who, who's like an anthropologist, I'm always interested in whether or not people see technology 
and its agency and your agency uh, as relationship. Like, are you leading it? Is it leading you? And how are you using it in your life? And, um, and kind of, you know, where you sit with it and how you mediate it. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, leave comments. I'm always, if you have any questions about anything that I showed, like, I also want to be clear, like, I'm not trying to show off. Um, I've had my parents help me out in life, like, in the last five years. I've been on unemployment. I haven't always had, like, the greatest of, of things happening in my life. Uh, I work really hard, but I also know that other people work even harder than I for smaller of what they have than what I have. And I'm humbled by it and I don't want it to come across that way, but like, I do like showing process. And so this is how I do it. And I think it's important that like, you know, people kind of show how they're doing what they're doing. I mean, one of the things is that I don't have a half million dollar house or $300,000 house like a lot of other people have. We literally live in a small apartment and that's kind of also how we balance it out. And uh, I drive really old cars, so. Um, but that all said, like, I'm having fun. I'm having a good time. And uh, in a DEI way, diversity, equity, and inclusion way, I, you know, I end this way because I want people to understand, like, I do understand how privileged I am to get to be a college professor and do what I do and have what I have. And it's not because of me, it's because of all these other wonderful people that have supported me and helped me along the way. Um, that said, I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing my process, what I do. And um, I'll probably be back and do another check-in, maybe in a year or something like that, kind of let y'all know what's changed. Maybe I'll even go over software. So thank you for watching.